Merry Christmas, Sagittarius. It's uh, December 2014, the end of the year. I'm Didici from astrology.com.au. Uh, later in the month, just a day before Christmas, I'm jumping ahead here, um, Saturn will make its all-important transit to your sun sign for the first time in 30 years. That's a big one. You've been going through some uh, intense, not just past life, but it's a past experiences even in this life where you're trying to make heads or tails of how that's impacted upon uh, how you function in the world. This is a strong psychological transit you've been experiencing in the last few years and now that's all about the change. You're going to become a lot more serious, a lot more focused um, for those of you around the 30 to 35 year age group. This could uh, really hit hard making you realise that it's time now to you know, forget the partying, get down, look at family life and uh, get more serious about your finances too. <coughs> For a few of you that may have already happened because this 12th sector through which Saturn has been transiting over the last couple of years does tend to curtail your expenses and to look to your future security. So that I think is the key aspect that I uh, would look out for we're going to talk about that because it is a long-term transit and we'll have uh, its undulations, its ups and downs, depending on which other planets are affecting it over the next two years. And we'll, you know, stay tuned and we'll be talking about that. On the 5th of December, Mars moves into the sign of Aquarius. That's your third sector. And uh, this gives dexterity with the hands in an unusual way. So handicrafts, playing of musical instruments, mechanical work, engineering, electronics, all of these things uh, may come to the fore. You may just find yourself tinkering with things and finding that enjoyable and, and even if it's just to waste time, that can be a way for you to clear your mind and make that a sort of meditation, <coughs> pardon me, during this period. That's after the 5th of December. Full moon on the 6th occurs in the sign of Gemini which for you is the place of uh, intimate partnerships. So marriage, de facto relationships, and also business partnerships fall under the jurisdiction of this seventh house. And uh, with the full moon there, that uh, most certainly will illuminate that part of your life and at least draw your attention to it. So you can fix anything that's broken, not just in the electronic side of things with Mars, but in the emotional side of things. Do give that a lot of attention. Unless you've got the inner part of your life happy, the outer part is not going to be very fulfilling, even if you amass a huge fortune, become famous, and the rest. You've got to have that peace inside. So I think that full moon is going to be very telling in that area of your life. We see the important <laughs> transits of Venus, Mercury, and Sun between the 11th and the 22nd, this whole... 10, 11 day period, these planets move to the second sector of your finances. So uh, leading up to Christmas, you have to be careful here that you don't find yourself making excuses to family and loved ones as to why you can't make it to you know the family affairs. Oh, I'm too busy, I've got too many deadlines. Uh, that could be what happens there when you've got too many planets shifting in that area. And we, we do see too with the planet Pluto there as we've been talking about for over a year now, very intense dynamic associated with your money. Some of you have become workaholics. You must balance that need for income with that responsibility to family and loved ones. It's a delicate balance right now. So make sure leading up to Christmas, you don't allow that to interfere with the smooth functioning of your relationships. Again, in that same sector, the new moon on the 22nd, and that's very powerful. New methods for earning money. New systems for managing that. That could also include talking to accountants as to how to better invest your money. It's all about looking to new ways to enrich the streams of income that you have. Some of you may be struggling financially, so this could mean getting a second job. <coughs> Augmenting your income with um, auxiliary sorts of uh, methods of income. Be careful not to overdo it, especially now you're coming into Christmas. Best to wait till the new year, start afresh so that that doesn't impact upon your, your personal relationships, as I've said. 
I do look forward to seeing you here. We're going to start off the new year with a whole new series of uh, astrology forecasts. For those of you that have been here watching what I have to share uh, month by month, I thank you for that. I thank you for coming to the website. Don't forget the website. That's a place where you can get more detailed information. And again, do have a happy and safe Christmas, prosperous new year. I look forward to your company again soon. Bye-bye.